So chapter 2.6, division of polynomial and the remainder and factor theorem. So throughout this chapter, we will talk about two different methods, which are long division to dividing method and the synthetic division method. If you look at page 107, then you will see number 2a, one question here, if given fx equal to x fourth plus 5x cubed plus 6x squared minus x minus 2, then we will divide this by x plus 2 here. Okay, then I will show you how to make division using long division method. So, you may be very familiar to set up long division, like uh, we have maybe 325 and divide by 5 like that, then you kind of find out how many times 5 is going to 32, and which is 6 and 30 and 25, and then get 5 here, so 25 equal to 0. You know, you all remember we kind of calculate this way. It's very similar, but now for this uh, polynomial case, we have a little bit clear algorithm. So, first of all, you set up exactly same as long division. So, x fourth plus 5x cubed plus 6x squared minus x minus 2, and then you divide by x plus 2 here. Now, the key point is, you only care about dividends leading terms and divisors leading term only, and make division between them. So, dividend over divisor, which is x fourth over x. Then what do you get? Which is x cube here. Then you put x cube on top quotient area here. So I'm going to put x cube. After that, you multiply this x cube with divisor. Okay. Then now x times x cube will be x fourth, and two times x cube become plus two x cube. And now you subtract. Subtract means you switch the sign, so I'm going to switch plus and then minus and minus. Then x4 and x4 is eliminated and 5x cubed minus 2x cubed become 3x cubed and this coming down so become plus 6x squared. Okay, now the same step as what we have done the first part here. So you only care about this leading term and this leading term of divisor. So what is the 3x cubed divided by x? And this is the 3x squared. So you put this on quotient area, so plus 3x squared and multiply this quotient value with divisor again. Then this become 3x cubed plus 6x squared. As you know, we subtract, which means switch the sign. So now when you look at here, so everything is eliminated. So you bring this down. And then also bring this down as well. Okay. Now same thing. You divide these leading terms and this leading divisor term here. Okay. So what is the negative x divided by x? Yeah, become negative one. So you put negative 1 on quotient area here and you multiply this with divisor so which is negative x minus 2 then 
you subtract them, which means switch their sign, so plus and plus, so equal to zero. Therefore, this case, the answer is this one. And then, no remainder. Okay? Then, let's talk about letter B. B is, so fx equal to 3x plus 2x cubed minus 9 minus 8x square divide x square plus 1, right? So same thing, we set up a division form, but as you know, this is not order form here. So we better making descending order. So from higher degree form to lower degree form. So it would be 2x cubed minus 8x squared plus 3x minus 9. When you form this, even though there's, n there's no maybe term exist, but you have to match with it. So, like a cubic, square, single term, and number. So, fortunately, this time we have every term here cubic, square, single, and number term. Then now put x square plus 1. Okay, what did we do when we solve this problem? Yes, we compare dividends leading term. And then divisor leading term, same thing. So you compare dividends leading terms and divisor leading term here. So it become 2x cubed over x squared. If you make division, what does it come out? Yes, it come out 2x. So you put 2x on quotient area. Now you multiply this with this one. So it become 2x cubed plus 2x squared. Oh sorry, 2x plus 2x. And now you subtract, which means switch the sign. Then these two cancel out, and then negative 8x squared coming down here, and they become plus x and minus 9. Then what do we compare again? Yes, only leading term of dividend and divisor. Okay, so we just make negative 8x squared over x square then you get negative 8 now you multiply this with this divisor then oh don't forget put quotient area as well become negative 8x square and then minus 8 you subtract which means switch their sign so become plus and plus here so those two cancel out and they become x minus 1. So in this problem case, this is our quotient and this is our remainder. Okay? 